So at yes. this point, I have started a recording for YouTube and with Craig. Uh, this will be Northern Party session, most likely. There's that. Okay, so Diana, you're still out of it. <laughs> and they're not going to raise you to do this, not reasonably. So, Dom, I'm not sure what we're going to have you do here. All right, we'll figure that out. Odds are you'll play an NPC, basically. And I know you're, you're doing that in the thing, and you want to play here, and I apologize for that. Uh, one second. All right. So, yes, Bellatrix Garrick, as you roll, I assume, recall, uh, y'all have basically made a deal with the quote-unquote devil, question mark? Uh, yeah, these, these people, you know, they're talking about how they're the rejects of society, basically, banding together to survive and... So on and so forth, you all have been deceived and lied to by a manipulator and blah, blah, blah. Point is, Cleo gets back to the city and tells the city where these people are, then things go sideways fast. So, as a test of loyalties so that they know you can trust y'all, uh, Garrick, you volunteered between you and Bellatrix to join the team sent to go get Cleo back. Now, as they'll make clear, the instructions are to get Cleo back but failing at that, prevent her from reporting to the city. And that carries all the connotations you assume. <sighs> so yeah, Garrick, you're paired up against that guy from earlier who was a pain in the ass to fight. You remember, uh, that guy. Plate mail, longsword, cocky smirk. And him and a couple other NPCs on horseback, who I'm going to have to quickly grab, are going to be with you. They will supply you with a horse, and they're going to have you in the lead. Then the uh, that guy, whose name is Zarin, for what that's worth. And uh, then... Have they offered to heal me? That's a good point. You're going out in the field. Uh, they'll call in a cleric to go heal you, and they're, they're trying to move around quickly here, so it's you, you get one or two doses, and that's it. All right, five points of damage, and then the guy triages you. That puts you at, what, six, six out of 16? Blow half, that's not great. Another two on top of that puts you at eight out of 16, 50%. It's just Cleo. They'll take care of the monsters, but you're there to give legitimacy to their request to Cleo to stop running and question, come back. Question, so the first roll was a five? Mm -hmm. And the second was a two. Mm -hmm. All right, so, mm -hmm. half HP, good enough for me. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're wounded, hold back. Just, we don't have a cleric coming with us, and if you die, we're dragging your corpse back. Well, at least now, if I don't fall off the horse, I won't die instantly. Mm -hmm. This is still the roaming monsters list. I need to go over to the Iron Fists. And yeah, their clerics, unfortunately, will tax. You did a pretty good job on cutting down some of their guys. All right. So yeah, they've wrangled up most of the horses again, all of them. Who or what are they sparing for this expedition? All right, do, 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 do. eight people plus you two for ten total. Uh, two of them. Hmm. Hmm? Well, you and Zarin, the uh, leader figures, if you will. Uh, Although you're okay. more of a distinguished guest. Fancy like word for cross. hostage. Well, they're not gonna kill you if you don't do anything stupid. <laughs> I, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just joking, uh -huh. Josh, and with you. So two of the guys will be in chain with sword shields and light crossbows. For I mean, them. you don't want to kill hostages until you get something out of them. You haven't got, they haven't gotten really anything out of us so far. You know, I never really understood Spear why. Shield. You kill hostage after you get something. Like the whole point is, okay, I get this for exchange of you living. They give me this, I give you them. I leave. But because, but because people are douchebags, and it's typically their downfall. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. But they're douchebags, so. Okay, so Cleo is on the run on foot. Y'all are in horses. I should have described this better earlier. These are war horses of some kind, medium, but they are not barded. Got to be able to ride fast if needed, and they can sustain a ride for a while. 
So we're heading back in the general direction of Toriel. We're a fair bit north from the road, so we're going to be roughing it through the wilds as we can. We're going to be kind of slowed by trees and such, but we'll do what we can. Uh, Zarin, as luck would have it, has some ability to track, so he's going to be helping you all track Cleo. Uh, Dungeon Master, before you leave, Beltrix will cement to memory everything she sees and hears while also taking note of if if and when there is a guard chain, because I've noted where you have her. Mm. Well, no, they've got you back in that tent after the uh, small walk around. Yeah, but it's... they still have to have, like, someone to come in every so often. Oh, no, there are guards there. And occasionally the guard switches out. So far, you haven't established a pattern. Two, three hours. Do they just get bored and tap out? It's very uh, disorganized, maybe. Still trying to try and keep a track, though. Mm -hmm. oh, yep, you've got that perfect memory. Okay. And Garrick and the hunting party sets on out. Okay, so Garrick, uh, you're mostly in the passenger seat here, sadly, as these guys are gonna push you and your horse, and you're up front, mind you. Mm -hmm. Alright, and let's see, that is your travel speed, that's Cleo's travel speed, and the hunt begins! Alright, the first hour passes without incident. Oops. Oops. That's... Second hour is still good. Occasionally, you know, Zarin has to call the procession. Dungeon Master, what time of day was it when Cleo actually took off? Oh, late morning. That puts you all there. It's after lunchtime now because you all did get some lunch and stuff. All right. And with her travel speed okay. there, your guys' travel speed there. Yeah, Zarin occasionally has to halt the procession, pick up the trail, that kind of deal. But he thinks he's got her. That's right, I'm rolling dice for two sets of encounters. All right, third hour. Fourth hour. Dude thinks that you're uh, getting close. Dungeon Master, does Zarbrod have anything pertaining to following the law or, or shit like that? The law is more like a list of guidelines for people that should don't want to get caught right away. Like, you're not to be overly chaotic nor overly lawful. It, it, you're, you're war. That's your thing. If war means following the law, then follow the law. If war means breaking the law, then break the law. Okay. Neutral evil. Well, I just need to know where that one stood because, you know, I know where Beltrix stands because of what her god does or says about it. So I'm just like... Okay, how, yep. how different is this going to be? Right. Well, Garrick, you're first in line. Give me a perception check. What is Cleo's perception? Ooh. I got a six. You got a six. Okay, you're going to see it. She fails her perception check. Yeah, uh, Garrick, you're up in front, and as you all manage to clamber over, like, the next hill and type of deal, you, you see Cleo. She's making her way. She's got that two-handed sword still. And she's uh, fighting her way towards the rough direction of the city. She's about uh, 300 or so feet away. There's a couple trees between you and there, that kind of deal. It's not just a straight shot. She does not appear to have seen you yet. What are you doing at this time, Garrick? Motion to her. Motion well, to her? Her direction. If oh. the rest of the party hasn't seen her. Well, your companions are going to look on over. Okay. Let me think about this for a second. Ah, good. Alright. We're going to dismount here. Here, you four stay with the horses. We're going to go on foot. She's not running at this point. She doesn't know we're after her. Garrick. Right? Gary? Garrick. Garrick. Right. You're going to go alone and try and talk her down. Tell her that you got help, and then we'll come out, and you'll explain we're friendly, okay? We'll be behind you. Try anything funny, and we run you both down. All right, chop to it. Okay. I dismount right. and kind of do a light jog over to her. 
Okay, so you start light jogging over, and you know you're wearing your heavy armor, and that's making clinking and clanking noises. And she seems to have failed to notice you. She's struggling through some bramble. Alright, so you're about, uh, let's see, what is your movement rate? Light jog would put you at about there, that distance there. Hmm. That's 10. Light jog would put you, your, your normal movement rate's usually 12 for max speed, unless you're charging. Uh, da, 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 10. Alright, so you're about 60 feet away from her at this point. And you're continuing to light jog over, I assume? Yeah. Okay. And uh, she she turns suddenly and goes for her sword as she sees you. And Garrick, what are you doing at this time? Easy, sister, easy. Oh, gave me a start there, brother. What happened? Where's Bellatrix? There is a lot to discuss if you're willing to hear it out. All right, talk. It is not my story to tell. Will you? Stay your blade and hear these men out? Hear who? Do not be worried. I will call them out. And yeah, I, I would, I'd say, just come out in a loud voice. Alright. Well, okay, the uh, four guys with crossbows in hand coming on out, and the uh, leader with his longsword in hand, but not raised. Come on out from over that yonder hill. Oh, what the fuck have we gotten ourselves into? Hear them out and then make your judgment. All is not as it seems. Okay, what is your charisma again, Garrick? Ten. Ten. Alright, she, she gives you a nervous look. If it comes to blows, you'll fight with me? Aye. In that case, hold still. And she's going to very serendipitously try and cast a healing spell. Only one point of damage, however. That, that's point. better than that. Right. Nice. You know, these, uh, these people walk on over. And as they get about 30 or so feet away, she holds up her hand. Close enough. And at this point, leader will... Hold up his own hand in a wave greeting and, you know, kind of indicate, okay, I'm holding a sword, but I'm not trying to attack you. And let's see, do I really want to talk back and forth between myself here? I don't think I do. Uh, so to summarize the conversation that's going to occur, because I really could go back and forth, but I imagine that would be boring for y'all. Uh, they're going to explain, yeah, things are not as they seem. Your companions are all alive. Diana, or whatever her name was, uh, uh, Benella? I, I'm terrible with names. What's Bellatrix. her name? Bellatrix. Bellatrix. Bella. Okay. She's alive. Bella for short. Bella for short. Okay. She's alive. You know, we haven't killed them. We're not monsters. And, uh... <laughs> no, no. Wow. Okay. Yeah, she narrows her eyes at that we're not monsters uh, gag. And yeah, we're just... all monsters in our own unique ways. We are. The back in character, uh, yeah. The, uh... No, that, that was, that was in character for Garrick. That was in character for Garrick? Shut up, Gary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just come back with us. We're not gonna hurt you as long as you don't make us. And... Dom, you've been bored this session. Roll me a d20. This is the leader's charisma check. 15. 15, okay. Aiden, roll me a d20. This is Cleo's charisma check. 15. 15? God damn! He wasn't really convincing, and she was willing to buy. Alright. <laughs> oh, the fuck is this gonna work? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> She seems nervous, and Garrick, you swear to it on the father, blah, 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 that these men aren't telling the truth. After telling the truth, that it remains to be seen. But 
it does seem oddly suspicious that that would be the reason they tell us. Out of everything they could have told us, they, they want to lie about that. And if what they said, well, actually, no, wait. Would Garrick have known they said anything about the crystals? I believe you were there for that, yeah. <clears throat> okay, I just wanted to make sure before I stuck my foot in the mouth, uh, my mm -hmm. mouth here. And if what they say is true about the crystal, then it is remains to be seen that it is a reasonable assumption that Counselor Maximilian is indeed doing such things. Of course, you know, it, it doesn't bother us, but my sister is another matter. All right. If you're willing to put your word on it, she uh, she agrees to accompany them on, on foot. She's not, you know, riding alongside straddle with the saddle with one of them, and they'll agree to that. You can ride with me. No, I don't trust it. You might want to go on foot, too just in case. Anyways, uh, yeah, also, well, no, it's a medium war horse. It could probably take the weight. She isn't that heavy. It, it can definitely take the weight. It's a medium war horse. The thing you know, I'll give her a lot. percentile chance. But I was, I was going for, like, kind of like a smirk, but not the whole Greg thing, just for, you know, <laughs> more of a sly one. Well, uh, you know what? She'll agree to, uh, ride the horse with you. And okay, y'all are going to load on up. At this point, they switch around the formation a bit. Leader dude, Zarek, Zarin, my bad, is behind you, and they've basically got you boxed in on all sides. <laughs> okay. Dungeon Master, just to uh, understand the position, I'm going to have her ride in front of me, therefore she can't get shot in the back. Mm. Whereas if I get shot, you know, that's fine. I can take it. I don't drop till negative 10. She, on the other hand, can't. Or if you get hit in the head. Right. Well, y'all yeah. begin to ride on back. All right. After about three hours of riding on back, let me get back over to the northern thingy here. It's getting pretty late, kind of dark, but the uh, leader says we're going to push on even through dark if we need to. We're close. I know the way. And the group continues to push forward. I'm, I'm not trying to take your agency away. In fact, I'm trying to get us through this quickly without, you oh, know, no, no completely, complaints here. Without completely, like, just blitzing you. And after an additional two or so hours, uh, this party will have made it back to the bandit camp. Clan Iron Fist. Casa de Iron Fist. I don't know. Anyways, uh, point is, night fell about 10, 15 minutes before y'all actually entered. Right. Darkness falls, they let you in through the creaky, groaning gate, and then close it all behind you. There are plenty of guards moving around, and Cleo is taking a look around. There are, you know, people gathered by campfires eating dinner, that kind of thing. And, uh, yeah. What's gonna happen at this point? Uh, let's see if the leader's busy. Argon is not busy, but, uh, you know what? Cleo, Garrick, y'all are gonna be brought over to yonder prisoner's tent to rejoin Bellatrix. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Bellatrix, your brother, and the NPC are back on in. And what's happening at this point? They're gonna... Garrick trying to flirt with the NPC. Mm -hmm. Duly noted. Give me a charisma check. Two. Two. One moment. Well, Garrick, you, 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 pick, you pull a couple sly lines and she kind of gives you a look and it's like, now is so not the time for that. Maybe she's a little flustered and you're not sure. Anyways, regardless, Garrick. <laughs> uh, okay. Where are we at now? Uh, so, yeah. slipping guys i'm sorry i had a thought and it completely slipped out of my head i need a moment to recollect are we allowed to move freely around the tent at least yeah you, you can move around in the tent bellatrix your hands are still tied garrick your hands are currently untied for the moment 
Cleo has not been relieved of her weapon yet, because she will refuse to surrender it. But the rest of y'all are basically unarmed. Alright. Well, Bellatrix, uh, Cleo, upon seeing you, she's going to verbally confirm you're alive, you're okay kind of deal. And mm -hmm. she'll ask if they can unbind your hands, because that's going to cause your wounds to chafe and you're not in good shape. And the bandits will allow it at this point, but again, warning you, don't try anything stupid, otherwise we will kill you. And Cleo will state that she is not going to let a sister possibly die, because your injuries are severe, and she will cast your light wounds on you. She's challenging them to uh, defy her, basically. Like, I'm curing this person, get the fuck out of my way. Anyways, they don't call her bluff, so Bellatrix, she spends her last spell and gets you six hit points. Yay. That's all I'm good if for now. If a fight breaks out. Mm -hmm. If a fight breaks out, I'm useful. Yeah, she'll try and quietly whisper to both of you that uh, that's all I'm good for now. Don't get hurt. I need time to pray, and I don't think we're going to get it now. Anyways, uh, they're going to bring y'all dinner. And yeah, guards have shifted around a bit. There's definitely more of them now that all three of you are there. Cleo's going to ask about Diana and being told that Diana is uh, alive, not in critical condition at this point, still unconscious. That She's been tended to by a cleric, she just needs time to recover because they have their own wounded to take care of first from the skirmish. Downfall. Who said that? <laughs> I know, out of character. And Jesus Christ, I can't focus. I keep trying to center my thoughts and it keeps spiraling out of control. I'm sorry, guys. I don't here. think I could do Don't, that. Don't center. Just go with the flow. flow with the go chaos. with the flow ends up being very chaotic and that becomes a problem soon because you need certain part amounts of order to front a session and I keep trying, man. It's not going. My brain is I, killing me. Dawn doesn't have much success with trying to keep things focused. It kind of just goes out the window, and it works perfectly. <sighs> I I can do that for a one shot, but I want this to be canon because I like these characters and I like this little storyline here. <laughs> so, in the interests of not running the universe into the ground when I'm tired, I hate to do this to you after only Jesus Christ, what's it been? Twenty minutes. 22 minutes and 32 seconds, but I'm going to end it here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Aww. Oh, Christ, my head. Ow.